This is a 9C1. They said this car came out of Colorado Springs. Original police car. Right here we've got the tan Caprice. This is a slick roof, no vinyl top. This one's got a cracked windshield. Bodies, super straight. Rest-free Oklahoma car. Got the sport mirrors. This one's got a cracked tail panel, which I have a replacement that I can include with the car. Got a little couple dents there that could be worked out not too bad. This one needs little work on the steering column. There's guys out there that rebuild them. I got a guy local here that does them for 150, so not too bad. The plastic armrest pieces are with the car, but the door panel itself needs a little work. They've cut holes for speakers and then they didn't really stay attached too well. Pretty good inside, a little bit of cleanup, it'll be good car. Put a headliner in it. They did a little work on it. He had a guy that was his mechanic. They said that the timing chain was bad. So he put a new timing chain in, couldn't get it to fire. Thought the ignition module was bad. He never did replace the ignition module, he just gave up. So I'm selling it as rebuilder, core, but if you get it running, it's just a bonus, don't owe me any extra. This is the 83 Caprice. It's got a title, 305 Quadrajet. All these cars I'm going to be showing you are rust-free cars. It's got one little spot in the door there. A couple scrapes there that could be worked out. This car, the hood is bent, but I've got another parts car in the other yard with a good hood that will go with this car. Then. Working on it, tinkering on it, a little bit to see if it'll run. I think it will. I'll let you know. Updates in the description. This car does have the vinyl full top. Not an LS, regular Caprice. Windshield's in nice shape. Does have three bullet holes in the door. Two down there, one up there. I did get this replacement glass pane for it. Car needs cleaned out. It's been in storage at the farm. Kind of needs to be cleaned and sanitized. I guess they like super stuffed the front seat. <laughs> you can see the cushion sits up higher than the on the driver's side there. Pretty basic car. It does need the ignition cylinder replaced. I've got the key for it, but couldn't get it to turn in there. So, crank window car. Brown interior. I'm inside the fence, so it's hard to get all the way back to show the whole car, but a little bit of cleanup and paint job, it'll be a good one. This Caprice is about a 83, real straight, clean, original car, rest free as well. This car, all original paint, no body work, no surprises. 
for some reason they have taken all of the lock cylinders out of this car to use for another project don't really know why because they're like 150 bucks for the set on ebay got the carpeted trunk good shape so a guy would need to order up a set of those cylinders they did take it apart nicely door panels have been taken off but all the stuff is laying inside got the front headlight bezel in there the interior's in good shape it'll clean up hasn't had critters in it power window car headliners fallen but that's kind of par for the course on one of these old GM cars engine he said wasn't sure on it might have some kind of mechanical problem so something a guy could either tinker on may run may not just assume it won't <laughs> a lot of you guys swap in whatever motors you want to put in anyway clean title of course then over here this caprice i believe is an 81 straight rust free car it's got the wire spokes on it sport mirrors this car is vinyl top car, but it's not the padded top, so the roof is real clean, rust-free. If you didn't want the vinyl top, you could take that off and sand it down, paint it, and it would be good, clean, smooth roof. This car's been parked like 30 years. It was parked out on the farm and so they got pack rats under the hood mice in the interior it's kind of a shame but straight rust free car if you just take the interior part probably throw the carpet away headliner needs replaced anyway just take it apart, clean it up, sanitize it, do your thing. Steering column's good in that one. <laughs> Windshield's cracked. Buddy of mine had one of these done for like 175, so not bad. Interiors mousy and then under the hood you can see they just <laughs> pack it level full of sticks and grass and stuff if you want me to clean that out i'm not scared it is probably going to have some wires chewed this car same story parked out at the same place rust-free car also has a clean title this is a 9c1 they said this car came out of colorado springs original police car it is rust-free car also 9c1 had i believe a 350 had the bigger bolt circle wheels just various various things tweed bench seat in the front and then a vinyl bench seat in the back the rubber floor mat and then the front ashtrays on the door pockets and i believe the back doors don't open from the inside good steering column same deal as the blue car next to it mice have been inside pack rats been under the hood parked 30 years they said this one ran 
but the transmission didn't have reverse. I do have a good set of the little aluminum dog dish hubcaps if a guy wanted to keep the original look for the 9C1, I would. This Caprice I did not get a title for and the title couldn't find. Old lady had this car in the garage. They said the V6 ran. So because they didn't have a title for it, they raided a bunch of parts off of it. They took the passenger door glass, the whole interior, the transmission. It's a good, straight, rust-free car. Perfect body, good windshield, nice bumpers. This one's got the top. I don't really think you'd call that padded. It's pretty thin vinyl. Don't see any evidence of rusting underneath of it. Usually it's the padded ones that rust them bad. So don't expect any issues with that. Everything been taken out, but floors are clean enough to eat off of. It's crank window car. I've got another car with a complete gray interior. This is kind of one that you could take two and make one.